Hello, and welcome back to the studio. I'm Dr. Wigo, and today I've finally got the Treblit Thunderbolt 5 enclosure for SSDs to use with my Mac Mini. So let's get into it. As always, first I'll tell you why I bought it. I'll let you know why I bought it. After that, we'll do a quick unboxing. Then after that, I'll turn off the cameras, go downstairs, fool around with it, try it out, do some speed tests, and then I'll come back up here and we'll get into it. And I'll tell you how it went. Why'd I buy this? Well, it's a Thunderbolt 5 enclosure for SSDs and I've been looking for one. Well, I found one. I, I found the Acasis TB501 Pro Thunderbolt 5 SSD enclosure, which works great. I'm very happy with it. But I have more M.2 NVMe SSDs, so I need more enclosures. So I'll just keep trying different brands. Plus, if you watch this video where I ran this one through its paces and its predecessor, the TB501, not Pro. This is the Pro. It's easier to open. But go watch that video. But in that video, I couldn't get the Gen 5 Sabrent SSD to work. I mean, it worked at incredibly slow speed, so obviously something was wrong. So I'm gonna try that in here. Here's hoping. I don't think it's gonna work, but you never know. That's why I bought it, to have another enclosure. So let's open it up. See what's in here. There's not a lot in here. It's very well packed though. Well, they do ship from China after all, so they pack it up very well. We'll be back after I figure out how to get this, this bubble wrap off. Ah, there we go. So what's inside the bubble wrap? More bubble wrap. The enclosure itself is bubble wrapped. And there it is. And there's a Thunderbolt 5 cable, also bubble wrapped separately. It's bubble wrapped within an inch of its life when they ship. Even with my reading glasses, it says to bleed on here. It, it says something else. It's so tiny, I can't read it even with my reading glasses on. Hopefully it says Thunderbolt 5. I have other Thunderbolt 5 cables, so I'll be sure to test it with a good cable. And it comes with a tool, uh, which is never a good sign. Ah, uh, yeah, see it, it, that's the beauty of the Acasis is you just pop it off, put your SSD in, put it back. This one is gonna be a little bit more work. Ooh, they're really long screws, look at that. For most people, this wouldn't be a problem because you're just gonna put an SSD in there and then you're done with it. But for me, where I'm gonna be swapping them in and out, I guess I'm gonna to have to leave the cover off. Oh, and while you unscrew it from this side, the cover's on top. And there's the, there's the insides and there's the fan. So it does have a fan. So we'll be checking that out. I'm gonna go ahead and put in the Sabrent, the, the Gen 5, which is probably not gonna work. Yeah, this one's not as much fun. So hopefully it performs better because it's a lot more of a pain to work with. Again, see this has the little plastic thing that you just plug in so you don't have to put a screw in. So here we gotta put the, the drive in and then we have to put this little tiny screw in and we gotta line it up with the little hole. I hate, when you're an old man with bad vision, you just hate yeah, see, I can't, I can't even get this thing to line up. So far, for ergonomics, the uh, Acasis is the clear winner. Because see, you have to line the screw up. It's a little tiny screw with a little tiny hole that it has to go into. Now we put all these little screws back in. And the problem is, when I switch drives, I'm going to have to keep doing this because you have to screw the top back down to make the contact with with the thermal pad so that the heat is being dissipated, well actually to the other side. So far, this is the winner. Much easier to get the drives in and out and for my purposes where I'm swapping drives in and out for this testing, big improvement over this. I got the drive inside, I'm gonna go down, try a few drives in it with the Mac Mini, run some speed tests, and then I'll come back and compare the speeds of this with the speeds of this. They should be very similar because it's really all down to the SSD, but you never know. So I will be right back. Many hours later. Well, that went fairly well, except 
using this little tiny screwdriver and taking out these screws and you have to, and they're on the bottom. To the surprise of probably no one, the disc speed tests were identical across all the enclosures, both the Casus and the Triblete. Electronically, they're the same. The Western Digital was 6,000 writes on all three and 5,600 reads on all three. And the Samsung 990 Pro was 4,800 writes and 5,800 reads on all three. And the writes seemed a little slow, especially compared to the Western Digital, but the reads are faster than the Western Digital. And you probably do more reading than writing. You just copy things on there once and then it's mainly reading it back. So, eh, functionally equivalent. Now, the difference is price and features. If you buy the Trablete, which is the cheapest, let me show you a little hack I found to make it a lot easier to deal with. You loosen the screws and then you lift it up and then you turn this over and put it on top and then flip it over to work on the drive inside because you have that little screw to mess with. And then when you're done, you just flip it back over, put this back, and then you don't have to worry about these little screws falling out because yes, they, one of them fell out onto my rug in my office and it took me like a half hour to find it because it's a little tiny thing. But that's the little hack. So the real question is, what do you get for your money? Well, the Trablete as of the beginning of March is $209. So it's the cheapest of the three. But as I've explained, it's you got to deal with all these little screws and there's a little screw on the inside and it's kind of a pain to work with. But of course, if you're just buying one drive and sticking it in here, well, then what difference does it make? You're just only going to do that once. I, on the other hand, tend to rotate through as I get bigger drives. I, I move them down. And so I always want the fastest, best drives in the best enclosures. I'm just going to leave one in here and never mess with this again. Then you move up to the Acasis TB501, which they still sell. It's $269. So it's $60 more. But for that $60, you get the toolless experience where you just pop the back off and it's got the little rubber stopper sticking in the drive and sticking it down in there. So it's a lot easier to deal with. The 501 Pro from Acasis is $299 now. So they they sell both, but this one's $30 more. So it's almost $100 more than the Drablete. So if you're budget conscious and you're only ever gonna stick one in there and then never think about it again, you might go with this one. Except for one thing, fan noise. The original Acasis, you can Barely hear the fan. I mean, I, I have it on sitting on my desk at about arm's length and I can faintly hear the fan on here. Now, on the Pro for $30 more, you get a switch that'll turn the fan off and on. So you can, if it's bothering you, you can turn it off. By the way, don't leave it off because, you know, things get hot in there. But say you're making a video about these things or making a video and it's near your mic. Well, then you can turn the fan off. This fan is horrible. It's louder. I don't like anything about it. Anyway, I, I found the fan noise just, it's, it's barely acceptable. It's a little too loud, even at arm's length. So for the $60 to move up to this, you get the toolless and a quieter fan, much quieter. And then for another $30, you get a fan you can turn off and on. But that's really the difference. So it all comes down to your budget. If you just have the one SSD and you're only going to stick it in there once, well, this is the cheapest for $209 if you can put up with the fan noise. If you can't put up the fan noise, then you have to pay another $60 to get the cases. Again, all three of the same speeds. I've seen some videos where people think this fan is too loud. I can barely hear it when it's at arm's length, but some people find it annoying. Oh, and the other thing I find annoying about it is that the, where you plug it in is on the bottom, whereas both of these, it's on the side. So I, I prefer these 
Actually, I prefer the PB501 Pro. Yes, it's $300, but again, I'm the kind of guy who's gonna change drives periodically as I get new ones and I bump everybody down. I'm about to take my PC apart and then I will have four more SSDs. Now, a bunch of them are Gen 3s and I have, I have older cases of closure. So I'm just gonna have a pile of these enclosures. For my money, the 299 version is the best. And then I'd go with the 269 and then only if you're really budget conscious and can put up with a noisy fan. I mean, it's not horrible, it's horrible to me because it's a high pitched thing which is annoying to my ears. I'm an old man, I don't like high pitched noises. It's, at least I can hear them. The high pitched noise is kind of great on my ears and this has kind of a high pitched whine to it. But it works great. Again, performance wise, they are identical. They're all within the margin of error, you know, 6,000 writes and 5,600 reads for the Western Digital and 4,800 writes and 5,800 reads on the Samsung 990 Pro. I, I also tested the other, you know, the Gen 3s and they're, they're all essentially the same. They, they, they all perform the same with Gen 3 SSDs. You don't wanna put a Gen 3 SSD in here because you're wasting your money. Why buy one of these expensive enclosures to put in a drive that's only gonna push like 3000, which is Thunderbolt 4 speeds, which you can get there in cheaper enclosures for those. So if you've got a Gen 3 SSD, get a Thunderbolt 4 enclosure. Only if you got a Gen 4 SSD do you need these, and hopefully someday Gen 5. This had the same problem with the Sabret rocket that these other two guys have, is it just doesn't mount. The Mac can't, doesn't see it. And it, again, I can't mount it on my PC. Well, my PC's dying. That's a whole nother video coming up soon on the channel. Stay tuned, subscribe. Who knows? So that's my conclusion. These are all three excellent, fast SSD enclosures. The speeds are the same. It's basically, are you gonna go the budget version or are you gonna step up? Or are you gonna go all the way to the top for another 30 bucks to get the fan that you can turn off and on? By the way, this fan is the quietest of the three fans. So you don't really need to turn it off. So that is my Thunderbolt 5 SSD enclosure shootout. And the answer is you get what you pay for. You can go for the, the low price, lower, 209, but you gotta mess with screws and do all those sorts of stuff and it has the high pitched fan that's really annoying. Or you go 60 bucks more, you know, that's 30% more, but you get a slightly better enclosure. It's much easier to deal with, completely toolless. You just pop them out, pop them in. Or for another $30, and now we're getting almost 50% more, you get a fan that you can turn off and on this is the one I'm gonna keep the drive I'm gonna use the most in. And the middle one is where I'll keep the SSD that I use the second most often. And this is where I will put my Gen 4 SSD, that, the smaller ones. So this will be like the eight terabyte, this will be a four terabyte, this will be a two terabyte. And then I'll use the other enclosures that I have, the Acasis and I, Check the playlist down below, the tech playlist. I, I did some other enclosures farther back that are for Gen 3 type SSDs. That was a lot of work for not a lot of output. I mean, it's, they're, the, they're basically the same. It's prices and features. Low end, low, low, lowest price is the fewest features and the noisiest fan. And as you go up, you get quieter fans and you get toolless and better features. Your call. Which one do you want? I really can't recommend the Trableet because of the fan noise. It just, it, it, it grates on me. But I can recommend both of the others even though they're much more expensive. Or by the way, get a slightly longer cable and like put it farther away. Put it on like way, you know, off the corner of your desk, way far away from you where you don't hear it as much. What can I tell you? That's it for today. See you next time. Thanks for stopping by. Bye bye. Now I gotta go keep moving stuff off my PC onto my Mac because I gotta get rid of that PC. It's killing me.
Thanks for staying to the end. Bye-bye.